Here, let us verify if the following values of the variables are the zeros of the given polynomials. So let us take p of x equals 3x plus 1 and verify if minus 1 by 3 is the 0 of 3x plus 1. So all we have to do is substitute minus 1 by 3 in the place of x and we do that 3 into minus 1 by 3 plus 1. So we get 3 and 3 gets cancelled that is one time. So minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So therefore p of minus 1 by 3 is the 0 of 3x plus 1. Let us do another one. p of x equals x square minus 1. x is minus 1 here. So let us try this. So all we have to do is substitute minus 1 in the place of x and we get minus 1 the whole square minus 1. So minus 1 the whole square is plus 1 minus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 is 0 or 1 minus 1 is simply 0. So therefore p of minus 1 is 0. So minus 1 is a 0 of x square minus 1. Let us do another one quickly. p of x equals x square where x equals 0. This should be very simple because x is 0 and we've just got one term as x squared. So p of 0 is 0 square. 0 square is definitely 0 and therefore 0 is the 0 of x squared. That's a little confusing or funny. Well, that is the answer.